know or recognize, or so you'll visually be able to recognize it um, when you select it from the port. Otherwise, I would not know um, that virus C is here. It would just say whatever, um, Mutu MIDI port, for example. It would say MIDI timepiece AV port um, 2, because this is port 1, this is port 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is 6, 7, 8. Normally, it would have said MIDI timepiece AV port 1 through 8, but I already named them. So yours, for example, would probably say something like, you know, MIDI interface, one, two, three, four, whatever, however many you have on your computer. Or maybe it'll say something like this, USB um, port one, port two, port three, port four. Okay, these are all different ports that I have because I have different hardware than what you're using. So um, that's a little bit difficult to understand and I, I hope it makes sense. But again, in order for these ports to be named the instrument name that you want to name them, you have to go into the MIDI studio setup and um, drag the cables, insert, um, click on add a device, okay, and then I'm just going to delete this one done. You can come in here and change the name of this um, by double clicking on it, the left mouse button, change the name, I'm going to call this test, apply it, okay, and then I'm just going to say, okay, this is on port one, so I just do this, okay. So now, I'm telling it right now that my test keyboard is connected to the MCU Pro USB uh, MIDI port 1, okay? So now if I was to go back into Logic, it would actually show this item here called test. But um, I don't want to actually do that right now because I'm in the middle of doing this. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to close out of this. So once you do that, you'll be able to select your keyboard here in Logic. And, um, and then you'll be able to change its programs and stuff too. programs, you need to make sure you click the little program checkbox here, otherwise if you don't, it'll stay on that sound, it will not change, no matter what. So if you click this, it will change. Okay, so I hope that was helpful in setting up your, your motive. Again, what you want to do is, I'm going to run this through this real quick, connect your USB, um, from the motive to the computer. Once you're done doing that, uh, I would say the next best thing to do is go into your um, applications, go to utilities, go to audio MIDI setup, um, and I think I already have it open, so that's why it didn't open. Let me try that again. That's fine. Okay. Utilities. Wait, let me go ahead and close out of this real quick. Just real quick. Save. Okay, so go to your MIDI uh, studio setup, and you're not going to see all the stuff that I have here because I've added all this in, so yours will be blank. Um, just go to add device, okay, it'll show up, double click on it, change the name. Okay, change the name, and then just, let's just say that this is your computer USB port 1. Just do this, okay? Once you do that, um, basically you're telling the computer, hey, 
see my motive rack, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that for now because I don't need it. And you can just click it and then hit the delete key and it'll go away. Then once you open up Logic, Try to open up Logic. Place them below, it takes a little time. Okay, so cancel. Go into your window. Go to the environment, go to MIDI instruments, go to new multi-instrument, open up all the channels. These are all the tracks that can um, play back um, MIDI instruments, separate MIDI instruments. So you can have 16 MIDI instruments playing at the same time. Double click on this top part where the MIDI cable plug is. Change the name. Okay, hit enter. And you can change all these names here too, and then um, you can name them to the names of your actual um, motive. So for you know channel one, program one, you can have whatever it's called, and you can just do that by going here and then deleting it. Okay. So um, once you're done doing that, just close it and close the environment. And then just come over here and select my keyboard. And then you have to select um, channel one. And uh, now it says my keyboard here. Now the next thing you have to do is set up your port. If it's on all, that means every single um, MIDI instrument you have playing will play. Make sure you select um, the correct port. I'm going to select virus C. Okay. And then again, if you want to change the programs, just click the little box and then it'll change. That's it. That's how you do it. So, um, one other thing I want to point out is you may not hear sound coming through your speakers unless you have some type of audio device. So how I, how I have mine set up is I actually have the audio out from the virus C going directly to my audio interface, which, which connects directly to my Mac. So um, that's another whole ball game. So if you're going to hook up your um, Motif through, um, through your computer to be able to record its signal through an audio, uh, to turn it into an audio, you might want to Think about buying some type of hardware, some kind of hardware that will enable you to record your audio directly into Logic. Um, that's how I have my setup, and what I use to do this is the Motu 896HD, um, which is a really great piece of equipment. Um, it's it's fantastic. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Of course, you know, you can buy whatever you want, but that's what I use. So um, again. You know, you'll hear the sound, so you may have to plug in your headphones or hook them up, hook your motive up to a mixer, and then make sure you have speakers connected to your mixer, or just plug your headphones directly in to um, your motive. Now, if you're doing multiple instruments, um, like virtual, you know, virtual uh, instruments within Logic 9, and you also want to use your motive, you need um, basically you need all that sound to come in through, go through the same system. So, what I would recommend you buying is some type of audio interface that will let you um, play, play your sounds or record your sounds um, through the sequencer at the same time as using your, um, your internal instruments. So um, if that's a little complicated, um, please let me know. Uh, I will try to do a better job of explaining it. Um, just let me know. If you have any questions, uh, please rate, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching my channels and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.